Hey guys, welcome back to Bright Night Tech. My name is Birdo, and today we are jumping right into it. Part 3 of my Iron Man Mark III helmet. Alright, so right away you can see here that I have made a mistake. So last time what we did is we covered this in wood filler. And then today I started sanding it down, but I put too much pressure on the top of the helmet here. As we knew might happen, and it cracked. So let's get started to work on this. Okay, so what I'm going to do to try to fix this, I'm going to put some painter's tape right here. All I need is for it to stay in place for just a second while I plastic weld it back together. So I'm going to put this right here. And, and now I'm going to take my little uh, melting tool here and we're going to try to get it back together. This is just to get it to stick and then I'm going to take some leftover filament and fill in the spot to uh, make it more rigid and more reinforced. So first we want to do this so it stays in place and then we'll do that part. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this leftover filament and we're going to fill in that whole spot like this. Okay, now we're done. Let it cool and it's going to be nice and sturdy and hopefully will not break again. Okay, so as you can see, like I said, I had already started with the wood filler and I already started sanding this down. So as you can see that little piece that I had to put back together, it's looking pretty flush with the rest of it. But we still have a lot of work to do. We're going to do more uh, wood filler, more sandable primer, and back and forth until it's nice and smooth. So you want to recarve all the lines that maybe got filled with the wood filler. I would suggest doing this wet instead of waiting till it's dry. So we're going to go ahead and use some of this sandable primer and I'm going to cover all the pieces with it just like so. And then we're going to sand again and repeat. Just like that. Nice and covered. We're going to do it again. So if you miss some spots, that's OK. All right. So as you can see, it's all primed and ready. We're going to sand this down. Then we're going to do wood filler again, and it's just a lot of that, guys. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to get some sandpaper, a little finer than what I started with, and we're going to go ahead and start to try to make this smooth. As you can see here, I reinforced this again with more um, filament, and I went ahead and did any spots that I felt had like a visible line because the print was really bad. Um, just to reinforce it so I don't have any more cracked parts and stuff. So uh, we're going to be doing a lot of that during this whole thing. All right, let's go ahead and start sanding all these parts like so. Okay, so at this point here, I have already sanded, did some wood filler, and now we're going to do more wood filler again and sand it. I feel like I've been saying that a lot, but that's basically what we're doing. Okay, so I'm really just doing any big chunks of pieces that I feel like have really big imperfections that I might not be able to sand down all the way without ruining it. Um, so it comes in very handy. Okay. Now we're gonna, this is a day later and we're gonna go ahead and sand this down. I usually let it dry overnight before starting to sand. So we're just gonna get to work here. Okay, at this point we have already done more sandable primer and we're going to go ahead and sand it again with even finer sandpaper. And as you can see, it's looking really, really good. We're trying to get it smooth. As you can see, that back part that I attached is looking really, really good now. And we're just going to keep on doing this till it looks perfect. Having said that, I don't expect this to look perfect. We're just going to get this as smooth as we can and then paint it and that'll be it. It's going to be impossible to get it perfect, so I'm not going to try to stress too much about it. But um, some of these parts are a little harder to do, like the ears. Okay, now we are ready to glue this together. Now I am, I put some super glue there and I'm going to put this right here to hold it in place. Um, this is just going to be a display. I wasn't going to put any mechanical components in here in order to like lift the mask up. I am going to do LED lights, but basically I'm going to glue all the parts together so they stay in one shape. And then I'm going to go in and do the plastic welding, but I needed to uh, hold its shape first. So as you can see here, I got the whole helmet put together. 
which is looking really, really good. You can see some huge gaps, but we're gonna take care of that when I do the plastic welding. Um, so definitely not perfect. Uh, some of the glue didn't hold perfectly and some of the areas were a little difficult to get. But like I said, uh, with the plastic welding, it should all come flush. Okay, so let me show you what we're gonna do. With the plastic welding, we're just gonna hit all these connection points. It's gonna give it some nice reinforcement. It's gonna hold together a lot better than just glue. And unlike my daredevil cowl, all I did with that was just glue and wood filler and somehow it stayed together. But here I am, I'm gonna just go ahead and start getting all these pieces together. Um, so as you can see right here, you really wanna get into those gaps make sure it's making connection so it sticks together. All right, I'm basically done here. There's still some spots I'm gonna hit with it, but for the most part, it is done. You can see all those seams are filled in. Um, some gaps are still there, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill them in. Uh, all right, we're gonna put some wood filler there because even though I just did the plastic welding, there are still some gaps. So the wood filler is going to help us with that. So you can see it coming out of the other end because I did it through the inside. And then we're just going to sand that down. All right, let's do the ears. Um, I'm going to put some super glue on it and we're going to put it right on here. I did notice they don't fit perfectly here. There are some huge gaps, but we're going to fix that later with the plastic welding and wood filler. Those are my best friends for any type of project right now. I'm so glad I picked up that technique of melting the filament because it has changed the way I do these. They're, it's less frustrating for sure. All right, now that that's glued on there, pretty good. Now I can't plastic weld it. I just need it enough to stay in place. All right, so I'm just gonna take some leftover filament and I'm gonna go through. This leftover filament that I'm using is the filament that came with my Ender 3 Pro. Uh, it's the little test filament that they give you. Um, it works perfect for this. That way I'm not getting into my actual roll. I'm just using that. So it's still lasting me a while. All right, so we're pretty much done with that ear. We're gonna go ahead and do the next one. We're gonna glue that on there. And then we are going to weld it like so. So same thing, just slowly take your time. Don't leave it in one spot too long because you'll melt through. All right. So you can kind of see the plastic going through those gaps right there, but that's okay. And you can see how it's nice and filled there. That stuff is not going anywhere unless I punch through it. Um, next thing I want to do is we're gonna put some wood filler on there to fill it in even more, give it more um, rigidity and make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. Also, if I missed any little tiny gaps or anything, this is gonna take care of that. Okay, next part is we're gonna fill in the gaps on the other end because as you can see, you can see the white plastic and even if I paint that, it's, still look, it's going to look still kind of rigid and not great. So I'm gonna put it in there with this tool and then we are going to sand it later. All right, I'm also gonna go through and do any gaps that need it. And here I'm going to make sure to take my little tool and recarve some of those lines while it's still wet. All right, guys, this is it. So I'm going to let this dry. It's all uh, plastic welded together. There's wood filler. It's all staying one spot. It looks ready to go. So basically the next step is I'm going to do one last pass with the sandable primer and then we're going to sand it back down. And then uh, we're going to do the painting and LED lights next time. So next time we do this video, we're going to do some sanding, painting, and LED lights. And it's going to look awesome. I'm very excited about this. We're pretty much there. Um, we're just going to try to get this as smooth as possible. And uh, we are going to be done with this in part four. I am excited. But I think we did a pretty good job. All right, this is the last layer of primer. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and put in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. And we will see you next time.